Look at this. Look at this. Not too shabby. It's like foliage everywhere. You got cave systems in here now. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Now I know what you're thinking. How is it we're looking out from a sea base from above the water? <gasps> Pretty awesome. Check it, yo. You can build underwater bases on land. <laughs> hey. Pretty sweet. It works. Nothing, I mean, other than maybe some clipping issues. It's pretty flawless. I mean, you're not going to have any flooding issues, that's for sure. So, having the whole point system doesn't really, you know, bother you too much. And look at this. Look at this. The bubbles, the, the windows are bubbled out now. Oh my gosh, it's like so awesome. They have, they keep doing all these improvements and it just keeps getting better. It's like nothing but good. And of course we can't forget the, the window up top. Yeah, look at that. We can, we can check out the jungle. Stay here when it gets a little, uh, a little scary out there. Who knows what vile creatures they might add when we're not looking. But yeah. Oh, this is, this is gonna be fun. Our, our empire is expanding. And not just here, not just on the island. Oh no. Why would I, why would I settle for just two bases when I can have three or more? Uh, we have one that I will show you here in a little while. Way over there. And, uh, I want to go even deeper. That one's currently, I think, getting close to the 200 meter mark, uh, which is the the limit for the Abaddon. Um, but yeah, this is <laughs> this is pretty sweet. And uh, they are now planning. Apparently, they have uh, just come out and said, "Oh, this is what this is good for." Oh no, wrong button. There we go. Makes it easier to hop up. Ta-da! Exploration made easy. But uh, they have talked about the crash site, and I am super excited for that. The crash site, I think, for the Aurora ship, that thing over there. Um, and they're going to, like, expound upon that and put in a whole new bunch of stuff. That's pretty awesome. I cannot wait for that. And, uh, you know, as they flesh the world out, it gives us, you know, one thing, one more things to explore. And more things to discover, which is even better. But it gives you more reason for, you know, being where we are and having a reason to, you know, escape and everything. Was this was this sand before? I don't remember it being actual sand. That's pretty cool. But um but yeah, this is definitely coming along quite nicely. Let's go ahead and make our way out here though, now that it's getting to be nighttime. Get aboard the safety of our giant thing. And our Seamoth is docked and fully charged. Loaded up. Which means we... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I also forgot to show you down here. Look at this. They even fleshed out the underside. Now we've got all these giant shroom things. Jellies attached to the underbelly. That is awesome. And... I can only imagine what they're going to have the... Uh, you know, eventually when it's it's completely done what all will be down here. The kind of ecosystem... Oh, looks like I've got some dings in my, my ship. The ecosystems will be absolutely awesome. I love it. I'm looking around for the uh, the whole little chunk of missing land in the middle. I want to make like a sea base there. And you can come up in your sub and dock. Oh, that'd be awesome. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the second... well I guess tertiary? Well, this might be the tertiary. The secondary base that I built uh, 200 meters below the surface level. So, one moment while I get that for you. And of course, along the way, I just had to... Uh, I forgot about these things. Look at this! It's like little spikes jutting out of the, the sea now. They've got... Uh, I don't know if this is an addition to a biome or if this is a new biome. Look at that! That's so cool. Very primeval, very foreboding. Perhaps some scary, scary 
creatures will uh, come from the depths in that kind of an area. I'm not sure, but it's pretty awesome, nonetheless. Oh, oh, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. All right, onward. As you can see, there are some, I mean, you know, it being early access, you, you can see the, oh, hello. Hello, friend. These guys seem to be popping up a lot more. Bye. See you later. Brrr, to you too. Brrr. Anyways, um, you can see you can see my uh, bases in the distance. Obviously, I've stuck beacons by each of them to make sure that I can find them once again. But um, yeah, it's it's kind of weird being able to see the little graphical glitches uh, off in the distance. But uh, anyways, obviously we are heading down to that one. That is the direction we are headed. Uh, that is where I will meet you guys once again as long as I don't you know run into something else I want to show you as usual <laughs> so one moment caller well just had a whole breach I had water pouring in I had to weld that up that was fun so <laughs> one whole breach and some minor damage later we are at our destination so let's go down and show you show you around the place do, do, do. Look at this. Now, here's another thing I wanted to uh, kind of show you guys. Look at the pylons. They actually do... Oh, crap. I forgot about oxygen. Ooh, let's go inside. Uh, they actually do extend down now uh, to meet whatever surface is underneath them. So when you're building, it's not you're not going to have floating pylons. And you're not going to have to like build stuff up in order for them to actually work. Now you can just to kind of cover it up if you want to, but as you can see, varying lengths of pylons, and it is awesome. I love that because you can build pretty much anywhere now. It'll it'll register a lot of different places that it didn't before as buildable foundation spots because uh, now it can stretch those pylons down and create a contact point. So once again, look at this underwater, much much deeper than it was uh, at our first base, and had to do the whole point system and make sure that everything's reinforced as well as, and here's my fabricator system, um, reinforced as well as uh, making sure that I can get all the view space I can. And with these bubbles, it's so much easier, especially this far down. You know, the not only with the draw distance being fixed, but just, you know, the fact that you can kind of get out and look around instead of just having every single window look uh, more like this so that it's kind of like well I'm you know not using my whole view and I can't look up and everything so awesome 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 I love it so basically what my idea is being able to kind of use this again as a mobile base and then build checkpoints deeper and deeper and deeper so kind of have a stair stepping of bases or even just small little uh, modules because what it allow what that will allow you to do is uh, stop at the spots refill your oxygen your personal oxygen and then recharge your seamoth since your seamoth is the one that can go deeper without any damage or any issues you're gonna be able to use this building system as a way to explore really really deep oh Looks like I was building something. I forgot to finish it. Um, it'll allow you to, to explore really, really deep systems without having to worry about air uh, being the biggest issue. Uh, what are we doing? We gotta finish. No, we gotta finish doing this. Oh no, we don't have more titanium. Um, let's see. Item titanium. Or oh, oh, ten seconds. Oh, they actually added some. <laughs> I've been playing with uh, infinite oxygen lately, so I've never actually heard her say a certain time limit. That is awesome. Instead of giving a percentage, which really doesn't help you all that much, it gives you a time limit on, on when you're about to die. Which was pretty obvious and clear when she said it, so I didn't really need to expound on that too much, did I? <laughs> but anyways, check it out. I uh, decided to make the view kind of interesting. I went with the little uh, forest here. Hmm. Um, but pretty nifty. I didn't make 
a too large of a, uh, a thing here. I didn't, wasn't really sure what this would be used for other than maybe a point that allows me to go out and uh, collect resources, but really it's not past 200 meters, so you can still use the, uh, the baton for that one. So, yeah, I'm loving it. Let's go ahead and get out of here, though. Get back into our Cyclops. Do -do -do. Whee! Really should just carry a, a tank on me. Anyways, oh, maybe, hold on, let's re <laughs> refill our air real quick before we go check that out. I'm wondering if uh, they, they started spreading these out. Reinforced hull fragment. Okay. Interesting. Now we've got some more sound effects. Very cool. Uh, inventory secured. Even better. Let's see. Fragment analyze. Analyzer blueprint. Where's my uh, fragment analyzer? Do I not have a fragment analyzer in here? Oh, I am sorely lacking. All right, item titanium. Item wiring kit. Whoops, gotta smash it all together. Item computer chip. Ta da. All right. And wham bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Tiny little thing. That's definitely not what she said. Ta-da! Alright. No, no, don't deconstruct. Utilize. Um, uh, no. Oh! Okay, so it's actually... Is it in here now? Oh, I, I guess it was just the whole reinforcement for the sub-base. Well, that's depressing. I was thinking it would be for my, uh... For my sub. Oh, well. It is what it is. So, let's go exploring a little bit. Want to keep going down deeper and see what uh, what kind of depth we can get to. Obviously, we're going to have to jump into our Seamoth. Hmm. I seem to be in something of a basin. Uh, well, I guess we're going to be moving along and up and over. But uh, we're going to see what kind of areas we can find that are not only interesting for our base uh, leapfrogging, but uh, potentially profitable. You know, the deeper you go, it tends to be, you know, more gold, that kind of thing. So, who knows? Repairs! Get to the repairs! No! No! Okay, we gotta go back up. We gotta go back up. Ascend! Ascend! <laughs> We're flooding! We're flooding! Four breaches. Two minor wait, wait. Okay. Oh, keep going, keep going! Ah! Is it welding? Where's the other breach? Oh no, it's below. We're taking on water. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Back beast! Get back! <sighs> All right, let that be a lesson to you, kids. <laughs> Even 190 meters, not safe. Not safe. Okay, we're gonna go to like a hundred and sixty, hundred and seventy. That's fine. That's good. That's oh, oh, oh. okay. Well, I guess now is the time that we get in our sea No! No! What? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Get inside! Get inside! <laughs> go up, go up, go up, go up. Eight breach, nine breaches. No, <laughs> this could be the end. Oh my goodness! This is where having people on multiplayer is gonna come in handy. Contain the breaches.
Oh my gosh. Oh, we still have three breaches down below, don't we? Oh no! Where's the breach? Where's the breach? Oh no, it's up there. Oh, let's get this one. Oh no, it's pushing me up. Okay, now we just have the, the one above. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we still... <gasps> so that's what a whole bridge looks like. Okay, let's get this puppy back up to 100%. No! What? <sighs> oh my gosh. Cut this nonsense out. It's not even hitting anything. Alright, we need to get this puppy up. And like... What's hitting us? Go away! Okay. Stay above 150 meters. We should be safe as long as... What is it, like a fish? A fish is causing this? If that's the case, they need to fix that. Jeez. Okay. So. Major disaster averted. Alright. Now my Seamoth's all the way down here. Oh, dear lord. Okay. Back to scouting for our base. And... This doesn't look too bad. I mean, if this is... If that's the max we can really bring that thing down to, this would probably be the first step to our leapfrogging. Uh, so... Tell you what, let's get a cliffside view. And quickly lay down... I, this is going to be tough since I don't have a tank. I need to be fast about this. Nope, nope, nope. Foundation. Nope, foundation, foundation. There we go. And, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no! No! Emergency. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. Oh, oh, our air does replenish now in the Seamoth. Okay, so lots of things we're learning today. Lots of things we're learning, which is great. I love it. That makes sense. Your personal air should. But now we can do this. And all we gotta do is slap a hatch on. And this is basically... Yeah. Oh crap! I don't have glass! <laughs> oh, this is... This is quite the, uh, quite the episode today. <laughs> it's not fun if it isn't dangerous, right? Bada beam, bada boom! Look at that! Ladies and gentlemen, we have liftoff, or rather, we have uh, T corridor. Rather, we have some movement. Um, what do I need? Titanium? I thought I had titanium. Titanium. Um, zero percent. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. You can do it from the inside too, so you you don't even have to risk your life. Uh, if you want to expand, as long as you have the foundation set up, which is perfect. Um, and stick a glass window on, shall we? Ta-da! Location, location, location. That is the key. Bam! Look at that! Alright. Pretty good first step there. We can uh, move along now. Now that we've gotten that established, and that'll give us a chance to... You know, if we don't want to come exploring in the sub because it's just ridiculously slow, then we can pop out the Seamoth. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is another reason not to bring the Seamoth. Oh, uh, or not. Ten breaches. Ten breaches. Okay. Nope. 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 Oh, the water's here. Oh, the water's here. Oh, the water's here. Oh, we're going down! We're going down! Seamoth down! So, no, Cyclops down! Cyclops down! No! <laughs> oh, 
Oh no! We we need the sea moth! We need the sea moth! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Climb up ladder! Oh! Oh! Get on the sea moth! Fully charged! It's not gonna get out because I'm so close. <gasps> oh no! The abandon's down! <laughs> okay. Um. I might have to come back to you guys. Um, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Well, she's dead, Jim. I, I, <laughs> I tried to get back inside. The only way I got back inside was actually redocking the sea moth. And the problem is you can't weld. Once it hits that zero percent, oh, oh dear. Once it hits that zero percent. You can't weld it. You can't fix any hole breaches, and oh! And as you see, this uh, as you see, the sea is taking her. <laughs> it is reclaiming what it has decided was its property. Oh, oh my! I I don't think we want to be near this when it starts launching itself. Uh, and as you can see. Despite being at 100% health, this thing is sparking all over the place like crazy. And the neighbors are screaming at us. Um, hello. Hello, little help. Do you, do you have AAA? Do you have AAA, please? Need a little, uh, some submarine AAA. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, this has quickly gone from awesome sea, by, sea base exploration to tragedy. The abandon is down. I don't think we're getting her back up, boys. Oh. Oh, my heart is breaking. <sighs> well, tell you what, I guess we will leave. I'm going to go mourn her in my own way, and uh, I guess we'll leave the exploration to uh, another day. I'm leaking some, some oil or something. Whew. Not good for the ocean. All right. Well... Hope you guys don't have that kind of an issue, but learn from my mistake. <laughs> Do not go to depth with, uh, with somehow the sub that should be able to take the most pressure can't. So, anyways, uh, like, subscribe for more, <laughs> for more ridiculous fun, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully with less tragedy, more exploration, more fun. And who knows, maybe the crash site will be up by the time uh, I get the next one out. Oh dear. Oh, I've got to go figure out what to do. Bye.